What's up, you guys? It is Scott and... This guy. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? It's Scott from Fly Rides, along with... Hector. Salcedo. Yep. Y'all ready for this? Uh, we just got back from a trip to Sky Park. Uh, we were at an event for Bosch. Uh, it was their fifth anniversary, so they took their favorite people up there, which me and Hector were a part of. Mm. Hector and I, even, were yeah. a part of. Yes. Sorry, Grandma. I know you want me to say Hector and I instead of me and Hector. Oh, oh boy. What a day. It was. Yeah. No, it was, um, it was a good time out there, I gotta be honest. It was uh, great, yeah. So we're gonna give you a little bit of a breakdown of uh, what to expect when you are expecting. <laughs> no. What to expect when you are taking an electric bike up to Sky Park. Um, Hector, do you wanna talk a little bit? <laughs> sure, yeah. No, I mean, it's a lot of fun, that entire park. Uh, main noticeable park or thing about this park is that there is no lift line, so you will have to pedal up to the top of to the trails. Which is why um, you want any bike. Yeah, Part that, yeah, I gotta be honest, uh, I hopped on a couple of Santa Cruz's there on the way up, yeah. and not, uh, like, uh, you could do it, obviously, yeah. like, it's a lot of fun, I, no matter what. Well, one of the things but, I was so impressed about was that the, it is so well designed, mm -hmm. like, because so they don't have a lift, so you are pedaling uh, to a certain degree, which is nice, kind of a break in between, you know, uh, uh, runs, but uh, it is incredibly well designed because you basically they have a route called upline, and that's you just take it from the base, right. and you're up at like every single trail, and it does not take long. I would say on the e-bikes, it would take five minutes maybe yeah. to get up to like the first little bit of trail there. Very quick on that e-bike, yeah. yep. So with by that with an e-bikes, you're going to be able to hit so many more uh, laps. And, and guys, when you go up there and you hear jump line or all these other things, believe me, there's always another way around. Yeah, I mean, that yeah, was, so. that's the coolest thing. It's kind of, it's, it's an, one of the coolest, I, I keep saying everything's the coolest thing, but that's the kind of guy I am. I'm very excitable. Get over it. <laughs> Uh, the uh, I think that was like one of the really cool things. You're you're way better than me, and I think you were like probably better than most of our group. So what was nice about it is like they keep these sections with like the really intense obstacles mm -hmm. open, so that if you're like no f***ing way, you can just go around it, and you're still in the game. Like you're still like you know you're still with everybody, which right. is one thing I really really dug. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there was you know a couple of bridges or a lot of tabletops around there, and if you can't handle or take that tabletop to get over it nice and easy you just go around it but that's like one thing i will say as e-bikes it's like it's pretty nice mm -hmm. just because like i again I'm, I'm like intermediate i would say it's like an intermediate mountain biker and i wanted to be able to do the runs a couple times before i was comfortable hitting stuff really hard um so again e-bike my e-bike gave me the opportunity to do that as opposed to being like okay that was great but i don't want to climb up again to do that same route let's do something right. else so it gives you the chance to kind of feel comfortable on the bikes and comfortable with your surroundings. Um, again, really, really enjoyed that. Yeah. So, I mean, so I, I, one of the things that I wanted to talk about uh, for sure is the, you know, the difference between going out on just like a regular mountain bike uh, trail, a mountain bike area, as opposed to being in a bike park. Because um, it offers a lot mm -hmm. uh, in terms of like benefits. So obviously you're gonna be closer to water, all that stuff, but some of the stuff that you don't want to have to use, but it's nice if you can, the medics, you know, like if you get injured out there, yep. you're gonna be able to get help a lot sooner, a lot easier. If you run into bike trouble, you're in a centralized location that you don't have to worry about stuff so much. You can carry way less gear. Yeah, they have a service uh, center there as mm -hmm. well. You need new tires, you 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 forgot to go tubeless beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> you can go do that there all at the park. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I, I would say overall, I mean, just like a really solid experience for me. Um, I have very few complaints, <laughs> I, I, if, if any. I mean, we were lucky again that we got to go on a day that Bosch had closed down the park for us. So it was pretty, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't very crowded. No. I imagine it probably gets a little bit, you know, crowded in the summertime and stuff like that. But, I would say so. I mean, yeah. it is a very popular uh, bike park, short of going all the way up to either Mammoth or mm -hmm. Big Bear to hit the, the other big bike parks. But it's, it's definitely one of your smaller, uh, on the small scale, uh, of bike parks, but it's not small. Yeah. Because the options up there are, are tremendous. There are so many lines that you can choose, plus, uh, or sorry, so many trails you can choose, plus multiple lines per trail. Yeah. 
Well, I, I mean, that actually brings up a question for me. Worth traveling for, like long distance, do you think, Sky Park? Absolutely, cool. yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say I if you so live, too. you know, in Orange County, North San Diego County, uh, I mean, San Diego County all the way to uh, obviously San Bernardino County, yeah. Riverside County, LA County, Ventura County, mm -hmm very accessible uh, yeah. to get there. It's nice and easy. It's not quite all the way up to Big Bear. It's not that quite high of elevation. So even if you are pedaling, you're mm -hmm. not gonna be losing your breath, even if you've lived and always lived near yeah. uh, the ocean. So it's, it's a solid, solid park all around. Um, yeah, so if you guys are in the SoCal area, or even if you're not, I would say it's worth probably hitting up. Go check out Sky Park at Santa's Village. Um, really, really nice uh, little setup there. And they are very e-bike friendly. I didn't have anybody, even though it was just, you know, it was close, close for the day, there were uh, a couple people on regular yeah. bikes there. No one was giving us or anything like that. Um, so yeah, go check out, uh, if you've got an e-bike, go check out Santa's Vill or Sky Park at Sky Park. Santa's Village. Yep. Let us know if you've been to Sky Park before in the comments below if you have any questions about it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let us know what you think of this type of video. You want to see some bike park reviews or trail reviews? Let us know. We'd love to do them for you. Um, yeah. And uh, see what we can get done. Cool. Let's right. do it. Yeah. Let's go back out there. Let's go back out there. Yeah. All right. We're going to go back to Sky Park. All right. See you guys. Let's do it. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs>